Have you ever seen plants growing using the power of worms? Would you like to learn more about it over time? Well, check this video to find out more, guys. G'day, my name's Marty Ware, and I'm an agricultural horticulturist right here in Australia. And if you want to learn worm farming and even learn how to grow amazing plants using worms, then please subscribe to my channel. There's lots of cool content coming up in here all the time for you to devour. G'day my friends, Marty Ware here from Marty's Garden. Yep, we're stepping things right up. If you've been following the garden, you would know I'm growing all types of sort of tropical species right on this temperate and subtropical borderline where I'm pushing the edges, growing in sand, using compost made from worms to build up these gardens, no dig gardens, and build up all this amazing biology in the soil. So everything's photosynthesizing and feeding itself and then all the little insects and birds and creatures and stuff are balanced in there and killing all those nasty pests. Never sprayed a chemical out the back ever and really proud of that. And I pretty much never dig a hole anymore. It's, it's pretty cool stuff, right? But what we're talking about today is the setup of the new garden, so the vermiponics area. I did this sort of once before when I was growing the microgreens in trays of compost with the leachate down below or the worm tea down below and sumping it up and growing amazing microgreens and different plants to sell to the locals in Byron Bay at their restaurants. I used to love doing that, but it's a lot of hard work. Anyway, what we're doing this time is we're changing things a bit. We're gonna do some of that that I just mentioned coming up, but for the time being, what we're doing is we're getting that scoric rock. So the basalt rock, now you could use clay pebbles that they use in hydroponics, or you could get some type of light rock and use it that way. I would stick away from really heavy stuff, or you could get sort of like a little bit less sort of type of rock and put in a little bit of compost and a bit of sort of um, worm castings. I'm getting tongue tied again, worm castings with it and grow that way. At the moment, in my system, I've just got the basalt rock and about 20% worm castings mixed through it. So it's just basalt through the pot, worm castings, and then we're gonna water it with the liquid that comes out of the worm farms and also worm tea concoctions. Kind of test it, run it, see how it's all going and get you guys to follow along and put your input into it. And maybe you wanna do it too with me and let me know how things are going for you and we can talk about it in the comments area and stuff like that. Now, what I'm starting off with is a few different easy plants. I've got a strawberry, a couple of strawberries going at the moment. I've got some watercress, and I've got some other plants sort of in cuttings at the moment, such as Kangkong and the Vietnamese mint, but they're not into the rock yet. I've done some different succulents. And so the watercress is something that I'm really interested in because it's a semi-aquatic plant and we're starting off with these semi-aquatic plants at the beginning. Now plants that like a lot of water would do really well in this. I, I think even possibly lettuces and things might do really well in this system. I've got to get some lettuce seedlings up and get them started on the way and then see how they go as well because they're going to need a lot of water and a lot of nitrogen to get the leaf up. And so we've got to you know, run these tests and these trials to see how they go. Now, I'm pretty sure the succulents are gonna do pretty good, but I'll put them up for sale <laughs> in FB for uh, Facebook, and I'll keep a couple of them just for myself. And we'll run these trials and see how things go uh, over time. It, it's lots of fun. If you wanna follow along, get yourself a little, uh, like a sock or a stocking. If you've got some worm casts, get some worm cast and get a uh, bucket of rainwater, a small bucket, and just start sort of you know leaching it into the water. And then later on, if you get a chance, get a little bubbler like I've got, maybe a little solar panel bubbler, or we'll just stir it up with a stick every now and again, you know. That's all I ever did for a very, very long time. 
everything was all done by hand or pouring it from high and down low and getting all the oxygen into it. You want a lot of oxygen in your leachates and worm teas for it to work because what happens is all the molecules and everything smash together and then it makes it available to the plant's roots, right? Similar like a waterfall going down and boom, exploding everywhere in nature and then running down and spreading out across the savannah. It's highly oxygenated, right? And so that helps the plants uptake the minerals that it need they need to survive. So we're really gonna push this to the edge and yeah, and have a lot of fun. There's some other people doing vermiponics, but I think they've got big, massive setups. What I wanna do is make it small, easy and achievable for you guys at home that have just got small worm farms and pot plants. You know, you've got the liquid coming out, you can make a worm tea, you can follow along, no problem and do this at home as well. And I recommend starting off with plants that like, obviously that's good for your area at the time that you're planting, right? So you wanna stay in season. And also plants that like a lot of water that possibly do well in like aquaponics, aquaculture situations, hydroponics, things like that. And then we'll start off and spread out and change the plants as we go and get better at it. All right. If you're liking this and you're digging it, let me know if you're gonna follow along too, or if you're maybe even gonna have a crack at it, that would be really cool. And I'd love to hear what you've got to say down below in the comments area. Lots more videos coming on the way, worm experiments, grow experiments. Yeah, I know you guys are gonna love it because you love your worm farming, you love your gardening. Now we're mixing it all together. It's gonna to be super cool, digging it. All right, have a great day. Happy gardening slash worm farming. We'll see you at the next video slash vlog real soon. Bye for now. After you subscribe guys, head down and check out the links in the description area. There's a really cool video also about becoming a worm wrangler and learning all you need to know about worm farming.